I, lo- I loved, you know, the fact that Lee sort of coined the phrase that while we were making it, this is a, uh, what did he call it? Environmental revenge horror. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was like, yes, that's exactly what it is. Tisha Blas. I've worked quite a bit with the screenwriter Roger Williams. We decided that we wanted to reclaim the horror genre from the Americans uh, and make it a Welsh kind of phenomenon. And um, and basically, partly based on the fact that a lot of our literature, you know, going back centuries, it, it seemed to me was in, it was inherently horrific. In some of those stories from the Mabinogi, you know, they're incredibly fantastical and there's lots of shape-shifting going on and and, they're, and they're, they are horrific. I mean, terrible things happen to people. This is loosely based on the day where, you know, the woman who came was made from flowers and came from the earth, you know, and it's such a Welsh story in that sense, though anyone who watches it who would be so familiar in Wales would be familiar with that backstory and background you know although it's very loosely based on that but but then it doesn't matter because it's it's a universal story as well you know when you get to my age as an actor you're so used to be sent scripts that you know you get the mum part or whatever and she tends to disappear and then I just started turning the pages and I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. And then I wasn't expecting Glenda to be this driving force throughout the film, you know, and what a journey and just such a gift of a part. What I love about her performance is that she is, she's brilliant at accessing that sort of snobbishness and the waspishness and the, uh, just this sort of extreme sort of creature and yet we do feel for her and we particularly towards the end you know when when we see her undoing we do absolutely kind of um identify with her pain on the other hand by contrast Anis Aloy playing Caddy who is not half as effusive but 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 there's an intensity and an openness and authenticity there that really draws uh, you in I think as a viewer you know I've been very particular in rationing the moments where we actually sympathize with her but I think she really nails it right at the end of the film when we do understand why she's committed these heinous crimes against this Uh, family uh, and it's to do with self-preservation I mean yeah it has to be seen on the big screen I mean just for the visual impact and the soundscape it's it's a cinematic experience for sure Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.